All right, so today we're talking about habits. So for any endeavor that you undertake, you will need a set of supporting habits. So these are things that you do to put yourself in a position of power so you can take appropriate action. It's those actions that get results. So by pre-paving it, we make it easier for ourselves to get those results. Every single one of us has to wake up and start the day. So the moment that our feet hit the floor, that is prime time to put the work in and put ourselves in a position of power. So for me personally, there are seven or eight key actions that I take every single morning, plus a couple of things that I do during the day to help keep me focused and energized and emotionally stable. I also have tools and systems in place for when the shit hits the fan so that I'm not derailed and I can still maintain that level of focus and do what needs to be done. But it's all supported by my habits. We form these habits through repetition. And I talked about this in depth on a post the other day, so I'm not going to go into details now. But there are three key things that I think everybody would benefit from doing first thing in the morning. So the first one is to nutrient load. So to get a load of good quality nutrients in your body so that your body can function at an optimal level. At the end of the day, you have a physical body. You need to take care of it. You cannot just focus on your mind and your emotions and leave your body alone. You still have to put a bit of work in on that side of things. Your body houses your mind. It houses your emotional systems, all of that kind of stuff. So you've got to take care of it. If you get up in the morning and you start shoveling in a load of junk food, you're going to feel terrible. But if you get up in the morning, you put some quality nutrients in there, particularly if they're in the form of something liquid to help with hydration, you're going to be in a much better state. The second thing that we want to try and do is some form of breath work. So I'm not going to get into specifics because everybody has their own ways. They all have different methods that they like. Um, but the idea with the breath work is that we create a level of coherence. Okay, we put the body into a calm, coherent state because from a place of calm, we are able to create. We don't want to start the day off all frazzled and stressed out because that's not going to help us. We're not going to be able to focus. We're going to feel terrible and we're not going to get things done. Through breath work, we can pre pave the day and we can find that level of calm that we need. And part three is some form of journaling practice. When we journal, we're training the mind. We're able to find our focus and to get clarity about what we actually want out of the day. It's a really, really useful tool for training your mind. So you must do some kind of journaling. It doesn't matter where you start. It could be a gratitude journal. It could be filling out some intentions for the day. Just start with something. These are really, really simple habits, but they are hugely transformational. If you can do them consistently, you will do them with ease. And I think this is an amazing starting point from which to build on. Like I said at the beginning, my morning routine is seven or eight different pieces. And if you've never done anything along these lines, you probably wouldn't be in a position to do that. You couldn't replicate it even if you wanted to. It'd probably put you off because it'd be too difficult. But if you start with these three simple things, you can build your own base and then you can grow it on top of it. You can add your own pieces and, and you can personalize it so it suits you. But the main point is that every day we want to ensure that we're starting with purpose and power. We need to start as we mean to go on. So I want you to drop in the comments and let me know what your routines are. If you have a routine, if you don't have one, if you've tried your successes, your failures, all those kinds of things. Just let me know what you're all about with your morning routine. And if you didn't see yesterday's post, at the moment I'm looking for a few strong women who want to dramatically increase the prosperity within their lives by finding their peace, their purpose, and their power in as little as 12 weeks, all while saving a thousand pounds. So if you're interested, just shoot me a message and I can send you the details. Have a wonderful Thursday, guys.